The C-SPAN networks bring you long-form public affairs programming from the nation's capital and are a public service of your television provider. C-SPAN, created by cable. For this, I feel quite inadequate to the task, and I find this very difficult. Thank you for the prayer, Father Paul, uh, Maureen. Our thoughts and prayers remain with you and your family. We pray that God will bring comfort and peace to you, to each of you. I was truly blessed to have had Nino at the court when I became a member in 1991. And I was blessed many times over, over the almost 25 years that we served together. There were countless chats walking to chambers after a sitting or after our conferences. Those very brief visits uh, usually involved more laughter than anything else, a joke, a funny word, a memory. And there were many buck each other up visits. <laughs> Too many to count. <laughs> there were many checking on one another after one of us had had an unpleasant experience daily. <laughs> and there were calls to test an idea or work through a problem. I treasure the many times we had lunch with our law clerks at AVs, where he invariably had an anchovy pizza. <laughs> My clerk family and I will continue this tradition by always toasting Nino as we gather, which is pretty regularly, but no anchovy pizza. <laughs> I love the eagerness and satisfaction in his voice when he finished a writing with which he was particularly pleased. Clarence, you have got to hear this. <laughs> it is really good. <laughs> whereupon he would deliver a dramatic reading <laughs> after fumbling with his computer for a while. <laughs> he worked hard to get things right, the broad principles and the details of law, grammar, syntax, and vocabulary. He was passionate about it all, and it was all important to him. None was beneath him, and all deserved and received his full attention. In sports parlance, he gave everything, 110%. For the past few years, my place on the bench has been between Nino and our friend Steve Breyer. I loved the back and forth that took place, <laughs> especially the passing of notes from Steve to Nino and Nino to Steve, and the whispered or muttered, or more appropriately, muttered commentary. When Nino wanted to talk quietly with me about something, he would lean far back in his chair and say in an almost endearing tone, Brother Clarence, what do you think? And of course, he would offer his opinion of, on various matters. On one occasion, he commented that in typical Nino fashion, that one of our opinions that had become an important precedent was, and I quote, just a horrible opinion, one of the worst ever. <laughs> I thought briefly about what he had said and whispered, Nino, you wrote it. <laughs> In a sense, it is providential and certainly not probable that we would serve together. I only knew of him, knew of him, but had never met him. 
He was from the Northeast while I was from the Southeast. He came from a house of educators and I from a household of almost no formal education. But we shared our Catholic faith and our Jesuit education, as well as our sense of vocation. For different reasons and from different origins, we were heading in the same direction. So we walked together and worked together for a quarter century. And along the way, we developed an unbreakable bond of trust and deep affection. Many will fittingly, deservedly, and rightfully say much about his intellect and jurisprudence. But there is so much more to this good man. As one of our colleagues said the other day, he filled the room. His passion, his sense of humor, were always on full display. And so was his love for Maureen, his family, his church, our country, and our Constitution. Yesterday, I finished Eric McTaxis's biography of Dietrich Bonhoeffer, one of Hitler's last acts before the Allies defeated Germany was to have this man of God executed. I thought of this memorial, this memorial gathering here today as I read Bishop Bell's eulogy of Bonhoeffer. With apologies, I borrow from it liberally and quote it loosely. With him, a piece of my own life is carried to the grave, yet, <clears throat> Yet our eyes are upon thee. We believe in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the, resurrection <clears throat> of the body, and the life everlasting. We give thanks to God for the life, the suffering, the witness of our brother, whose friends we were privileged to be. We pray God to lead us, too, through his dis discipleship from this world into his heavenly kingdom to fulfill in us that other word that Dietrich Bonhoeffer used, non potest non letari qui sperat in dominum. While in God confiding, I cannot but rejoice. God bless you, Brother Nino. God bless you.